I don't wrestle with God as often as I wrestle with how I should be in this particular world. Like, it is not a safe uh, world for trans people. Like, for example, in, in our office of Bishop, we don't answer the phones live because we get so many lewd phone calls from people of faith. And so um, I wrestle more with, like, what, how... What of my choices being public make me personally safe or make my kids safe or make other people in my life safe? How much of that is like under my own control and how much of it is not under my own control? Um, How does it change my work choices? Um, How does it change my ability to be present in people's lives? But I would say that more often than not, um, fear that I will physically be murdered um, is a thing I think about every day when I choose what clothes I'm going to wear or how I'm going to style my hair. Uh, every day. Uh, every time I get on an airplane, uh, they have those scanning machines where they pick a, pick a pink button or a blue button. And if your flaps and folds don't meet the requirements of the person who is not allowed to ask you if you're a boy or a girl, they will do a deep cavity search on you because someone once tried to put a bomb in their underwear. And so, like, I, every single time, there is, I usually do not use public restaurant restrooms um, because when I'm physically attacked in them, it's usually by people of faith. Um, and it's usually in the women's room. Most people.